Greetings all and welcome to Volpecular Media. Uh, or as it will soon be called, the Respecking 2 Witcher Boogaloo. That's right, I've been at it again, respecking. Trying to get ever closer to a viable canon playthrough. So let's cover what I've changed quickly and uh, get back to playing. So. Still on the fast attacks. Now, I swapped out strong attacks for Whirl last time, and uh, it proved fruitless. Aesthetically pleasing, very close to the sword dancing thing, but it it's still too long that you're mid-animation and ready to get sniped. So, I've nixed it. Um, and in place of that, I've got something that I will genuinely find more useful which is far reaching art which means I can keep uh, people at bay and it's still pretty canon art is the most commonly referenced sign in the books and stories um, and I think it's the second to make an appearance overall but it is mentioned all the time uh, still only four for fleet footed um, if you're building this with me as and, and trying to play it like this, then we go four on resolve first and then or five on resolve actually if you want to cut out well, you'll still need it to unlock the next tier. But then we swap out for razor focus and that's to mimic uh, Geralt's sensitivity to hormones like adrenaline. So yeah, we're still rocking delusion. But we've now got far reaching Ard. And uh, we've got heightened tolerance at 4 out of 5, but a 3 out of 5 will do. It's just to reference Geralt's uh, exceptionalism when it comes to resisting toxins. And frenzy as well, because it's mentioned, although kind of vaguely, that uh, Geralt took kinder to the trial of the grasses and had additional experiments and effects performed on him slash received by the trials and that's that let's get that out of the way and get back to playing so where we left off um, I just seen Mr. Var Emrys and now I'm off to Velen Geralt and Yennefer were reunited something even more important happened in Vizima. Geralt learned that Cirilla, his one-time ward, had returned from afar, and she was in danger. He was to find her at the Emperor's command and Yennefer's behest. Fabulous. Lovely and cinematic. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to meditate because you can't meditate in the Sima. Smashing. Uh, what potions have I got hot keyed at the moment? Can I change them? Petri's filter. Uh, this only works if it's the superior version if you're playing along with me. But Petri's filter is useful because it guarantees that signs apply special effects. So basically, if you're not going to level up your Igni, at least it will guaranteed burn people. Tawny Owl, so I can uh, regen stamina if I'm uh, in a fight that demands I use signs. White Honey, in case I go over my toxicity. And Swallow. So, quick easter egg for you guys, it's not book relevant, but uh, do you remember that pompous 
knob from um, the inn from the university. Well, this is his book. I'm not going to bother reading it. I'll leave it there for a sec. If you want to read it, pause the video. And one of these poor fellows, without their boots, is uh, is that guy. So what we said came true. Right. I'm going to try and fight these wild dogs. And see where it takes me. So I just popped a Petri's, and I want to see... Oh, I got a bit close. Oh, that's better. So it's stunned, staggered, slice and dice. Come on, my dude. Whoa. Easy. Oh, no. And we were doing so well. So... I just mastered wolves, and you'd think wild dogs were the same, but that hunter was right. You know the gay hunter from the... Oh my god, I can't remember what quest it is. You know the one. And he's like, wild dogs are worse than wolves because they kill for sport. Well, it turns out he's right. Please don't mean I have to meditate again. I do have to meditate again. Well, I'm not going to go pick up that book because screw the book. I have things to do, including beating up dogs. I'm sorry, I'm just checking over my inventory. Why is that? We don't equip crossbows unless we need to, guys. The other benefit of having the far reaching art is blowing stuff out of the sky. Oh, now the dogs aren't even here. The audacity of some animals. Okay. Let's crack on. I'm going to try and uh, follow the roads because this playthrough isn't the only thing I want to do in The Witcher for you guys. No, and for me. Let's take all these. And I have been floating the idea around in my head of doing a basically like an edge lord playthrough of uh, Hearts of Stone and Blood and Wine. So you know, series dead. Uh, spoilers, by the way. Siri's dead. Yennefer couldn't bear the heartbreak of a borderline suicidal Geralt. Everyone's gone, and Geralt has made a promise to himself to be the last of the witches. Um, and basically go on a rampage, just taking out monsters and um, bad guys. Rejoice, for even a creature as depraved and base in nature as you can serve the glory of the eternal fire. Rude. Someone must see to the corpses on the battlefield. Necrophages defile those not already rotting in mass graves. This is not right. That's to be my good deed for the day. A handsomely profitable one, I might add. I know your kind don't work for free. Rude again. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I'll take care of it. This will count amongst your merits. The more good one works in life, the more hallowed things are. Yes, splendid. Here are the holy oils. Dash generously and set alight, understood? I wish it to flare up to the sky for the glory of the eternal fire and all that. Once I've incinerated the bodies, where will I find you? I shall be near the bridge to Novigrad. My spider sense is telling me that that guy's a douche canoe and not who he claims to be. Uh, yes, as I was saying, 
before I interrupted myself by inter uh, initiating that cutscene. Uh, yeah, like, um, your boy's all alone, and Geralt's just on a suicide mission to clear the world of monsters, um, paid for or unpaid for, so that he can die knowing that the work is finally done. So, yeah, if that sounds fun, let me know. And if it doesn't, I'll probably yeah, do it anyway. It sure stinks like a mass grave. Nobody told me this now sounds fun. Now for the holy so. oils. Hope they burn well. Come on, my G. Where you at? Alrighty, so we got some dead ghoulies, which probably actually, while I'm struggling with this scaling, remind myself to apply oils. It's, uh, it's kind of important and I've not been doing it. It's such an advantage. Just set these bodies alight. Now for a shot of Igni. Ah, there you are. Onward to the next steaming pile of corpses. I think the most valuable thing that I carried over, considering the moment you start a new game plus apparently everything you own is trash, the most valuable thing I carried over yeah, other than air and sure stinks like a mass grave. Oh. Now uh, is oils. probably the Beauclair armor for Roach. They burn well. Why are that? dogs here. Also, don't do that. It's really rude. Right. Okay. So, uh, that happened. This is when the dogs and rot fiends work together. All right. Let's go again. Oh, wow, well, I'm only right back here. I'm just being a drama king. It's fine. Do you know what? It's worse. It's worse to call yourself a drama king. Just own your sexuality and call yourself a drama queen, you patronizing shit. I was on a rant before I died, and I can't remember what it is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, like, the only things worth carrying into New Game Plus are Aerondite. Until you get a new Aerondite. Yeah, uh, sure stinks like a mess. I guess, if you want to play all the way. Holy oils. Hope they burn well. Shut up. You've had this internal monologue twice now. Um, yeah, that's it. Aaron Dighton roaches Beauclair armor because uh, what do they call it? Tack. It's called tack when uh, when it's for horses, I think. Come on, man up! Don't be such a roly boy. Stop it, dude! Stop rolling. Swallow would do some 
work and uh, start accruing some regen a bit faster. That'd be great. I suppose carrying over uh, <clears throat> all your superior oils and such, that's quite useful. No. Oh, man. Why do I do this to myself? My autosave is set to three minutes. Three minutes, and I can't stay alive for three minutes. If this is how strong... Don't... Why are you in the fire? I wasn't stood in the fire to begin with. Game's just plain vexing me now. This is going to be my whole damn playthrough is me trying to complete this shitty side quest. I'm not surprised they needed to develop witches if this is how the world is in The Witcher. If this is supposedly how strong the average dog is. Alright. First of all, let's put our back on. Let's think strategically. What would Geralt do? What would Geralt do? Geralt would oil his blades. Even though there's no direct mention of oils in the books. But a good swordsman always oils his blade. Mystical or otherwise. Cool. One dead dog. Any more? Fab. I'll loot that. Where's the rock? Yeah, sure stinks like a mask. There it is. Now for the holy oil. If you wouldn't mind oh, reacting well. a bit quicker, that would be dang. Nope. It's weird, because I've made this book-style semi-educational challenge run. This is meant to be semi-educational, but I've got to be honest, I'm not bumping into a lot of lore-relevant stuff right now. It doesn't really become relevant until we get to the juicy bits later on. Whoop. Oh man, don't be like this. Get some regen. Boy, you've been making me roll a lot. Come on, Fido. How long you gonna make me wait? Ah, I shouldn't have said come on, Fido. Again. Leave a comment if you want me to cut the deaths, because I can cut the deaths. I had a big old sulk on Reddit. Uh, after already recording this. Um, that's right, this is my second time going through this slaughterhouse, house. Getting gang banged by dogs and rot things. Um, and setting myself on fire again. Yeah, let me know if you want me to cut the deaths. I wanted this to be as unabridged as possible. I'm trying to be everything at once. Uh, like, educational about the law, because I, I really do love it. I really do. Um, New Game Plus just got me vexed because the scaling is broken. Like, there's, honestly, there are two things that stand out as just plain lazy to me. I should probably quick save, Let's actually. Let's go! That's the smartest thing to do. You guys have been listening to me. If you're even still hanging around, you've listened to me. Be like, ah, my auto save. There's a quick save button right there, mate. But yeah, I'm trying to be uh, part educational, part funny, I guess. Just myself. Not that myself is overly funny, but you know, yeah, you know why. Sure I mean. stinks like a mass grave. Don't make me squirm. Now, um, they burn well. 
And uh, yeah, it's proving to be really difficult to actually get anywhere because um, stuff doesn't die. Nope. But yeah, um, if there's anything that CDPR like skipped on, uh, like really did dirty. Um, oh, this is still alive. Oh, not anymore. Oh, these two are though. Please stop. Also, when's Frenzy about to kick in? That'd be useful. You know, the whole slow motion? That's only when they counter-attack, I guess. Can dogs even counter-attack? Bro, do you even counter? Look at that. Look at that meager crumb of health. Yeah, it'd be really helpful to my commentary if I could, you know. Now for a shot of Igni. If I could uh, stay on track. Oh my Christ, on a bike! Are you freaking kidding me? I just set myself on fire. It's alright. It's okay. I've got my therapist on speed dial. It's fine. We'll get through this. Just me, Geralt, and the voice in my head. Oh, that's where you autosave? Are you fucking joking? See if I can dodge out of the way of the fire that I'm stood in. Right, ready, ready. Inventory, inventory, inventory. Ah. Oh. Guess I'm gonna load a saved game. Da -na 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 -na. Look at this. Foolishness. The Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war ravaged land. His mission to gather intelligence about Ciri. I know I seem a little cranky, I just got off a 13 hour night shift. Promised myself that I'd re-record today and just be a better tuber. As in short for YouTuber, yeah, not the big sure stinks brass like a shit. mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Geralt, shut the fuck up, man. I apologize, my cursing is ramped up, but I'm not sure how much you guys care. That's not what I meant to do at all. Thank you. Right. <sighs> Big deep breath. Dogs Damn, first. Next. Who's gonna spot me? Both of them at once. Fab, because they work together now. That's 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 new game plus for you. Don't swap swords mid-fight. Just kill them. Right, let's burn these bodies and not set myself on fire, yeah? Then I'll go kill the other dogs, because I hate them. Real dogs are so nice. They are a gift. And Witcher dogs now for a shot of make me want to hang myself. Got 
to stand at least nine feet away when you light a fire. I never finished my goddamn point. Two things I genuinely feel that CDPR crapped out on, and that is the Reason Estate quest, because it makes no sense that... Like, the betrayals, the multiple betrayals is fine, I totally get that. But I have no idea who was like, oh man, do you know what we really need to do is uh, we need to get the smartest person in government on the continent being Dijkstra. Um, we need to get the smartest character to make the dumbest choice in the world. Um, like, you can betray people when you're not stood in front of someone you know will choose their side and kill you. You can betray people when you're not in the presence of somebody who maimed you for life. Uh, I, I really don't want to attack this bear, but I know it's only a matter of time before it comes to me, so let's just go. Anyone else see that movie Brother Bear when they were a kid? Well, this isn't that. Thank you. Take some of that. That's better. That's useful. Thank you, Frenzy. That's really helpful. If you can do that for dogs and rot fiends and everything else, that'd be great. The second thing that CDPR ballsed up was just rando scaling problems in Shit, New Game Plus, because apparently I'm not the only person to feel this. A few people on both here and Reddit have said, my dude, watch out for the wolves, because apparently they make no sense. Random um, quest relevant... Oh, hold on. If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual, just a larger delivery. Good customer, I thought. Then they whipped out blades. Geralt's way more patient in this game. Like, I know he's been through some stuff. He's been through two games of extra content and... Plug your ears now if you don't want book spoilers, but he's, he's technically died once. Um, so I get that he's, like, a bit chiller in the games but Geralt wouldn't listen to this whole story he'd just be like fam Wogwan who who set you up and I can decide whether I kill him or not he's way more straight to the point we still talking about a priest of the eternal fire I'd say so Beat stained pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times, everything perfect, but the fourth is man came at us with knives, sought to knock us out of the trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. A witcher? Meaning you? So what now? Nothing didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods, it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, Witcher. And for the umpteenth time, Witchers do not have a code. It is pretty clear that every reference to a Witcher code in that's made in the books, at least, because... It's a the Witcher code's like a big deal in the uh, the Hexa, which is the 2002 Polish film and series based on very loosely based on um, the books. Now for a shot of Igni. In fact, I'd arguably say that it's less based on the books, and it's more just like kind of borrow some character names, please. And we'll make our own rules up. 
but regardless, yeah. Um, what was my what was my point? Geralt wouldn't listen to this crap. Geralt would. Ah, yeah. Um, first of all, this Geralt is considerably less emo, considerably more handsome than Book Geralt. Um, so I feel like I have to say that for sure. More dogs. Excellent. Oh, it's okay. These ones are regular dogs. Fab. Um, know the price for their help. Oh, shut up. Blood, they're nightmares. Good, I'm glad. Um, yeah, the Witcher code is bollocks. It's not a thing. Um, every reference to it ever made is just Geralt making an excuse for himself in the books. Like... The only real Witcher code is the, it, it it's the Heath Ledger's Joker code. It's if you're good at something, don't do it for free. That is the only real Witcher code. Everything else, inconsequential. It's just Geralt making it up on the fly. Um, you could argue that each Witcher keeps a personal code, but that's not a Witcher's code, is it? That's a personal credo. We all have those. I like to think anyway. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Yes, and it took ages. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive. And pretty talkative. What do you mean? Fistech dealer. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you, for all time, exclusively. Is this man Nigel Thornbury in disguise? You can hire me, but you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah, an impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Three on one. Surely we'll manage, Witcher or not. Take him. All right, check this. What now, you so you see these guys? So these guys outlevel me by two levels. Yeah, they are three apiece, but they are quest. Oh, they are part of a quest, right? That's the whole thing. This is what I mean. Come on. Come over here. See what happens. There you go. But if I stumble into a bandit camp of level 58 to 60 deserters, I will get bludgeoned to death. That's what I mean by the scaling being off. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm a real wanky player. Don't get me wrong. But at the same time... This is ludicrous, compared to how pretty tightly tuned the main game playthrough is. New Game Plus, like, you'd have thought if they were going to do a, a lazy job of it, it would be lazy in a way that made sense, like, oh, we've just whacked every level up by 30, but that doesn't seem what they to be what they've done. What it seems to me that they've done is they've taken uh, overworld enemies and get. What could this possibly be? Um, yeah, they've taken the overworld and chocked it full of stuff that's just straight murderous. And then in quests, they're making things quest level strength. Even, which is like, I'm, I'm not articulating this very well. 
two level 58 characters. One's a quest character, one's a not quest character. One's an overworld character. The overworld character will kick your ass and the quest character will bow. And yet I've also had it vice versa. Uh, we saw it in the episode where I uh, found... Um, the Bastion? The doo-doo was... Uh, I had to go hide or seek, find his shield and then track him to that hut. I'd cleared the same ghoul nest of overworld ghouls, which were level 56, I guess. Not a problem. Slaughtered through him. Didn't even have to take a potion. Well, you all shut up. Didn't even have to take a potion to do it. And yet, the moment the quest initiated, the ghouls... Rats. They could two shot me. Not willing to believe that, nay or not. So it works both ways, and neither way Spoke makes sense. It's a real Spare lazy job. Still not as lazy as Reason Estate. Interest you in a pass, cheapest around, right here. What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. Redanians hold all the fords across the Pontar. Can't get through with our pass. But, you're in luck. So happens I've got a few to sell. What? Could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much? What am I to do if you can't afford it? Piss off, bowl cut Phil Mitchell. No deal. Whoa, 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 hold up. Might have a little work for you. Reduce the price for a job well done, eh? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them. You know, in monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. Um, I'm gonna axe him because it seems like a lot of faff and it's the same thing I just did. I think you'll swing me a discount just because. Aye, good idea. Discount's yours, my friend. That's better. Pleasure doing business with you. Never you worry. Magic. Um, so, if it, if I'm being completely honest, that wasn't the most book accurate thing I've ever done. Um, it's hard to say in situations like that. Uh, there's a really nice conversation. Well, I wouldn't say it's a nice conversation because it's com conversation with uh, Lambert. So not a nice conversation, but there's a really apt conversation that the Geralt and Lambert share over using Axie too much and the temptation to just live a peaceful, short-term, memory loss, men in black, brainwashing life, you know? Um, and the importance of not, you know, abusing your power as a witcher, which isn't really a problem in the books, because whilst Axie can, by default, simultaneously influence uh, the thoughts of three people at once, and is, I suppose, the most broken of the the book accurate um, signs Axie like all signs in the book is, is based on concentration and um, like a manifestation of will I guess and uh, casting signs does take it out of someone who's not you know magically adept Geralt's 
sort of, because he, he's the son of a sorceress, he's told many times over that he has this aptitude for magic, but he also hates it with all his, all this burning passion, and uh, just never seems to be tempted to use it when he doesn't have to. Um, yeah. He's also referenced to, this is the other thing, and um, I guess it's one of, I mean, Sapkowski built a massive world, so I guess it's uh, one of his oversights, but there's all this talk about how naturally gifted Geralt is, because he's a sorceress's son, but like straight away in Blood of Elves, Triss mentions that Eskel's way, way more magically in tune than Geralt. And Eskel's just a bloke who got witchified. Looks like rain. Yes, it does look like rain. You're correct. You, you must have magic breasts that can tell the weather. Um, oh, I don't know why I went on that ramble. Don't ignore me. But don't ignore me. Carry Come on out. watching. I'm not I need the views. You. When did you last eat? A week back. Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. I don't have any food, but maybe this will help. Thank you. Here, for you, for your kindness. Wow. Excellent. Your eyes. These lovely like kitty cats. But yeah, in that particular situation, I think I, but Geralt would have used Axie anyway because like we are in a rush, like not so much of a rush we can't stop to earn some coin, but at the same time, the the Emperor is up my ass about finding my adopted daughter, so he can have his own dastardly way. With a, I'm not in the mood to stop and and help out every Tom, Dick, and Harry. Time to end this. Oh no! Oh, I missed it. I missed the chance to parry, and now I'm just getting beaten up. Do something. Do you see that last hit? That last hit for like five and a half thousand. That's that's the good stuff. That's when counter attack activates and uh, gives us that healthy ninety percent boost. I love it. That's what I live for. That's what we want. I can't wait to take on some, like, uh, I guess, like, single fights. I'll not give her up, not on me life. Looking for a man, goes by Hendrik. What do you want with him? Want to talk to him. What about? Give me a bottle of something strong. Ah, yes, a bottle. You gotta go. I'll open the back way for you. Right, so this bears some semblance to the opening of... Voice of Reason, I think it is. Short story, um, in The Last Wish. It's the one with the Strigger. Right. Um, in fact, it's the first time we see him use a sign, and that sign is Axie, and he it's awesome. It's a great scene. Go read the books if you haven't. Um, but this scene basically plays out, and I'm going to play it out as close as I can to what happens in the books with the options I'm given. Haven't finished my drink yet. In Cape, vodka. Who's this an brave warrior looks like? 
Got two swords, see? Oi, great boy. What's the point of having two swords? Wonder if he keeps an extra prick in his trousers, too. You fucking deaf. Gonna say who you are? Or do I need to loosen your tongue with me knife? Someone who'd prefer not to be bothered while he's having a drink. <laughs> Hear that? We've a distinguished gentleman in our midst. Shine your boots, governor. No. Wouldn't want the grime in your hands to rub off on them. Bolo, did you hear what I heard? Go away, or I'll kill you. Damn it. Enough. Give the devil someone to All rush. together, now! That'll never work! You're a gunner! Have you any idea what the Baron will do when he learns of this butchery? The village! He'll tear it apart before anyone can say it was some wandering mutant done it! An iron fist he's got! Where's Hendrik? You deaf! Understand what I'm saying? Baron won't let this stand! Calm down. Your Baron's no idiot. Seriously doubt he'll think you locals cut his men down with farming implements. Now where's Hendrik? Man lives in Heatherton. Don't know where that is. Other side of the hill. Looked that away this morning and saw a strange glow. Imperials on the raid, perhaps. But who knows? Right, so first of all, in the scene in the book, uh, what actually happens is Geralt walks into uh, a pub like this that is less occupied than the pub he just passed. He's, he's trying to stay out of trouble. But some some assholes come up to him and they're like you have a Rivian accent. Which is hysterical because Geralt puts on his Rivian accent because he was given the name of Rivia. Um, but either way, they don't actually pick on him for being a witcher. They pick on him for being Rivian. And he takes advantage of this and allows the fight to go on, even though he could have axied them. Because he wants to send a message to the uh, the governor of Vesima. Uh, I think they call him a Castellan. I don't really know how that measures up in hierarchical uh, relevancy. But he does this to send a message so that they know it means business. And then when the guards come to arrest him, he axes the guards and they take him to their leader uh, so that he can parlay with him. Uh, so it's not as talky as that scene, but that is generally how it played out. And uh, also, it might not be as talkative as the scene we just watched. But this this dialogue here is way more in the tone of book Geralt. Like, way more straightforward to the point. With a bit of sarcasm added in. Anything else you can tell me about Hendrik? Odd fellow. Arrived from who knows where and for no apparent reason. Shacked up with a widow whose husband was stabbed for a scrap of bread. Baron's men don't like strangers. Aye, he stays out of their way. Always seems to know when they're coming. Always manages to disappear. Thanks, Inkeep. Go out the back. More of the Baron's men in the village. No need to worry about me. I'd rather you not make any more trouble for yourself, for us both. Sick. All right. Gonna meditate. Move your ass, one of you. Gonna pop this here. Full heal. Loot is gonna loot. Kill him. You asked for 
have you done to our boys? All together! Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? So it's not bandits that show up, obviously, uh, in the book. It is the guards, like I said. So, there we are. Uh, right, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a day here. Now I'm going to go find Hendrik, most of that is cutscene, and then I'm going to go straight to Crow's Perch, discover it, and then move on to the Kira Met scenes, alright? Thank you for sticking with me, sorry about my foul language, or not sorry if you like it, I'll keep it in, I might censor it, I don't know. Um, yeah, thank you for sticking with me if you've stuck with me. I had a bit of a crisis of confidence yesterday, um, hence the uploads a bit later than normal. But, um, yeah, if you liked it, leave a like. If you disliked it, please tell me why. And uh, subscribe for more if you want it, because there will be more. Thanks.